Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Society, the art and science of watch collection. And today's little uh, desktop video, what I want to do is to talk about a little company called VS Dial here in Connecticut. And the uh, they're really two things. One, of them, they they have their they make their own watches. Uh, they put them together with uh, Salida uh, 200 SW 200 one, and they they use uh, medium grade ones, which means that they have some. They, they look pretty good. They're not uh, unfinished, but they're not elaborately finished. I'll put it that way. And so you have uh, and price wise you really get an incredible little watch in my opinion they they range from fourteen hundred dollars up to twenty one fifty and uh that range covers a lot of different kinds of watches now the main thing i want to talk about today my purpose of visiting uh with vs uh watches and their their owner this he's a really nice guy uh, his name is vladimir and he is has had this company for a number of years, and he's he's really developed his uh, his talent as a as a more as a as a dial maker uh, with enamel. Uh, the couple uh, ones I have here are a couple examples. One is uh, made with the compound enamel techniques, so you have enamel, and then you have some other materials that work with it. Uh, to the right, there's a uh, the kind that I think we're really interested in as a base, it's a Grand Fu enamel, and then the numbers are painted on there. So that is the essential thing that we've been we've been looking for, and the quality of the work is quite good. The uh, some of the other kinds of things there is a close nay, which is a technique where you take these little wires and you outline a uh, whatever you want to outline and then you uh, pour the uh, enamel the uh, liquid enamel in there and then it dries to uh, different shapes so uh, this is the one on the left uh, with africa and western europe is an example of uh, uh, his uh, the uh, vs dial close in a uh, and then to the right is a really interesting one. It's a uh, Grand Fu, and then it's uh, treated. The map is made with 24-karat uh, gold. Really an amazing uh, watch. Little, I don't know. It's gold dust of some sort that, uh, that that's made with. Now, the last two um, are, it turned out to me, for the, are for the most important. One is, is an embroidery uh, style that, that he makes. And the last one is the painted enamel. Now, the reason that painted enamel is important to, to me is because we're working on a watch. Uh, we're we're going to call it uh, Premier Montre or um, Montre Premier. We're not sure yet, but we have a, something like that. And then uh, number one. I don't know if there'll be anything after number one. Uh, but this is one that we've been working on for a while, and one of the one of the issues was uh, how we could get the dial done, and because we wanted an enamel dial, and, and this is just one example of it. Now, with it's going to have retrograde minutes, and it's going to have jumping hours, and so the jumping hours and the retrograde minutes are sort of right in the middle of the retrograde minutes. If you draw a straight line across the um, uh, the dial of the watch, you'll hit the jumping hours. So this is the plan right now. There's a lot more we have to do with this to, uh, to get it to work the way we want to. But this is essentially it. And what we were I was talking to VS Dial about was, you know, if you do that, I said, well, first of all, he needs to know the size. Well, we're not sure about that yet. <laughs> we want 40 millimeters, but that will depend on the size of the movement and then we have to get a case for it. And here was one of the interesting problems that I found out about, and I'm glad I had someone to talk to who knows what they're talking about. So if you, the larger your dial, the thicker the, um, your, your dial uh, plate has to be. And then uh, if you use a real thin one, it won't, it won't hold up. On the, on the larger one. Now his, the ones that we just saw were ones that he made were smaller. So 
this is one of the things uh, that he's working on is that, well, let's try it at different sizes and see what happens. And, and what's, you know, once we get the size figured out, now this also affects the thickness. And so if you have a thicker uh, dial, and believe me, <laughs> I've, I've messed up some watches that I, I built myself because I have a, a thicker dial or a bigger dial or something like that that doesn't fit with the case. And that's absolutely not what we want. And especially uh, with, you know, something unique like that, where you have the combination of the retrograde minutes and the jumping hours. Anyway, uh, that was uh, that was my experience. That was my visit to the um, enamel dial maker. And I told everyone about it, the, you know, who were working on this project together. Uh, and so we're sort of <laughs> slowly moving forward like to hear your comments, like to hear any ideas you have, and um, let me know. This is an invitation to subscribe if you like, and until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection.